everyone. My name is L. Welcome to L Cap TV channel. In this video, I'm going to show you what I did today during our science seminar. Let's get started. I am a PRC accredited CPD provider and I also participate in seminars. As a participant in a recent seminar, I shared with teachers an effective writing strategy. This strategy is called PRESS, P-R-E-S. What is this PRESS? P stands for point, R stands for reason, E stands for example, and S stands for summary. I am so thankful with my husband because he taught me this technique. Here's what I did. Hi, good day everyone. This is L. To our science vocals, Ms. Isidro and Mr. Takan with their team. To our division science supervisor, Dr. Honey Boyles. To our public schools division supervisor, Dr. Mervyn Salmon. To all of you here, have a pleasant day. Let's do writing. Writing to learn in an easy way. Friendly to the teachers and friendly to the students. So how? Press. P-R-E-S. Uh, one time, I talked to my husband. I said, I'm really bad in writing essay. How can I do this? I'm already a teacher. I'm already teaching 15 plus years. But I hate writing essay. And then he said, what? Okay, here's the thing. Do this. Follow press. So what is press? P stands for point. R stands for reason. E stands for example. S stands for summary. Just follow that and everything will go flawlessly. Wow, that was great. What is press? How to do it? Now, this is one of my best practices in, in, my, in our school. I am handling tech book students, automotive students. They don't want to write. But I made them write using this method. For P, just state the point. You have to follow the format, P-R-E-S. P, just write your point. And then R, say, why are you saying that argument? And then, after that, give an example. And then, summary. Here's the example, very quick. Believe me, it's easy for you to check the work of your students. So here's my example. Let's say the topic is three types of rocks. So that's my point. I'll say as a student, I'll do, I'll do it in the simplest way. There are three types of rocks. So that's my point. The R of that. There are, there are three types of rocks and these rocks are classified on the way they are formed. The igneous rocks are formed from fire. It is from the word igneous, means fire. The sedimentary rocks are formed from sediments. And the metamorphic rocks are formed from the changes because of heat and pressure. So see, I'm already giving the reason. So what's my point? There are three types of rocks. And then my reason, 
I told, uh, I, I stated that uh, the reason for putting them in the three types of rock. So that's the reason. Now, let's go to the E example. In igneous rocks, they are formed from fire. So an example of this are granite, obsidian, and other types of rocks. I don't remember the examples of igneous rocks. Anyway, I'm already on the letter E now. Sedimentary rocks are formed from sediments. Examples of these are gypsum, sandstone, and blah, 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 blah. All right? In metamorphic rocks, I said that they are formed from the changes due to heat and pressure. An example of these include the fillite, marble, and blah, 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 blah. So you continue that. I'm already finished with example. Let's go to letter S. Rocks are categorized depending on how they are formed. The igneous rocks are formed from fire. The sedimentary rocks are formed from sediments. And the metamorphic rocks are formed due to changes in heat and pressure. So those are the three types of rocks that I was talking about in my first paragraph. I hope you learned something from this. That's it. Thank you very much for the opportunity. That's easiest way to write. Let your students do that. It's easy for you to check. When I check the paper of my automotive students, I use rubric. Completeness. I am looking for the P-R-E-F. So they get five points for that. Then, uh, neatness of work. So they have to write it neatly so that I can read. I'm not including anymore the grammar because later on that grammar will be learned. So that's another five points. Then, reflection of knowledge. I give them five points. Uh, what else? So they got already 15 points for that. So that's it. Very simple, very friendly to them. If they don't do it the first time, I have to let them do it again, do it again, practice, practice, practice until they get it right. So that's it. Sir, Takan, thank you for giving me the opportunity. And once again, good morning. This is Mrs. Lee. Thank you.